you about why we decided to homeschool our children. Um, there was a couple of different reasons that played into the decision to um, start homeschooling them. Um, my husband Jeremy wanted to homeschool our children, but I didn't at first because I didn't feel qualified <laughs> to um, teach them anything. I wasn't really good in school. Um, I made okay grades, but I just, I was a completely different person back then. I'm sure everybody can relate to that. And it just, I don't know. I just didn't feel like I could do it and do them justice or actually teach them anything. Um, but as days and years and months went by, I, um, we've had friends and family and stuff that homeschool and different things happened in our kids school that we just really did not like. Um, First off, our son, I think he was in the third, third grade, he found drugs on the school playground. Um, principal called and, you know, he's just like, um, just wanted to let you know that Isaiah found something on the playground and blah, blah, blah. We know he had nothing to do with it, this, that, and the other. And I'm glad that they informed us and everything, but in my opinion, it should have never been there. Um... It kind of just lets you down as far as um, feeling like your child is safe um, because he definitely was not exposed to anything like that um, at home. And then for me to be sending him, him somewhere where I thought was safe and where he would be guarded from things like that. And to, for him to find something like that and just have that experience there where I thought he was safe was just a letdown. Um, another situation um, was with my middle child. Um, she had an incident with the little boy talking to her and just asking her different things that were just very inappropriate, especially in pre-K. Um, now, I'm not saying that you won't um, run into different situations in life i know that that happens but in my opinion in third grade and pre-k you shouldn't be dealing with sexual questions and drugs i just that's no um i just i didn't like that and i don't know i just kind of felt let down by their school for those things even though they tried to address them can you and Noah play, um, hair, I mean, makeup and hair stuff? If you don't make a mess? Um, so, that was the two main reasons why we started thinking about homeschooling. But then we thought, we talked to some friends and they were getting great results as far as, um, their children getting along a lot better. Um. And I can actually say that my kids get along a lot better now than when they were actually in public school. I don't know how that works. I don't know why it happened, but they are closer and I love that. What parent wouldn't want their kids to be a little bit closer, you know? Um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, of course, we prayed before we... Um, took them out of public school. We did not want to take them out of school if it wasn't something that the Lord wanted us to do. But we, me and my husband both prayed and we felt like that was the right decision. And looking back on it, we've only, this is only our second year of um, homeschooling, but so far I love it. I love them being at home with me. I love knowing where they are. I love knowing what they're doing. I love spending time with them. Um, I have a three-year-old Noah She's my youngest little girl. I have Anaya, who's seven. And, um, let's see. Isaiah is ten. They're, they're, all of their birthdays are, like, coming up, so I'm, like, afraid I'm going to say their wrong age. But three, seven, and ten. And there's things that I get to experience with each one of them that I wouldn't get to experience if they were in school all day. Um... And I love that. I love the fact that I can say that I gave them their education. I raised them. And I'm not saying that you're not raising your children if they're in public school. But just for me, I, I feel a lot more accomplished for some reason. I don't know. I really love them being at home with me. 
Um, other than that, I think that that's, that's all I can think of. I mean, just the, the socialization, I forgot about that. Um, people always say like, well, they're not going to be socialized. They're not going to have friends, this, that, and the other. But we, um, we have big families, so they have lots of cousins and we actually see them quite a bit. We go to, um, library. The library has, a, um, like a homeschool type of class thing. We go to that. We go to story times at the library. They've met several people there, um, that we've actually kept in contact with and do small field trips with, um, kind of made our own co-op. Um, a co-op is available for us to do different classes and things, but we don't do that a whole lot. Um, because the school that we're enrolled in is a little, um, lengthy, like a far away. So, um, and then our church has tons of children and the mothers are always, um, getting together, going to the park and going to the splash pad and going to the library and, you know, going out to eat lunch and just the park, just doing a bunch of different things. And, um, of course, we go to church a lot, and they see their friends a ton. And then my oldest two, um, they have best friends that they met when they were in public school, and I made sure to keep in touch with their parents. Anaya has a birthday this coming up weekend of a little girl that she went to school with, and they, they keep in touch. She just came to her birthday this past year, and Isaiah is the same. He gets invited to his friend's birthday. He gets invited over there just to hang out sometimes. Um, I mean, they they are very well socialized. That is the least of my concerns, actually, because um, if you really think about it, I mean, it's nice to have that experience, but I, for myself personally, I don't talk to anyone that I used to go to school with. Like I said earlier, um, I'm a completely different person than I was, um, you know, in 2005 when I graduated school. I just don't talk to those people anymore. Not that I, you know, anything wrong with them. That's just how life is. You grow up, you grow apart. That's just what it is. But, um, as far as the not being smart enough to teach them, there's always help that you can get. My husband's very smart. We've got Google, we've got, you know, there's, there's resources, the library that to me, that's, that was my excuse. And I can tell myself now there was no excuse. I can do this. If I think anyone else is more capable of raising my children and teaching my children than I am, to me, that's silly for me. But, um, I hope that I said something in this video that helped you, but these are the reasons that we decided to homeschool our children. Um, I don't see going back to public school. Like I said, a couple of times I love them being at home with me. They help me. Um, when I'm having a bad day, I, I just like to see their little faces. They're so sweet. I love just everything. I mean, it's hard to even come up with just one or two or three things because I love everything about them being at home with me. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later.